Hi, welcome to a2zknowledge.com. So today what we are going to see is all about how to access your remote machine and how to uh, share your file with your remote machine from local. So now the remote machine I am going to use is Amazon Web Service. So in Amazon Web Service, that is the cloud computing, I mean in Amazon Web Service, I have created a machine. It's a Linux machine which is running. So I will show you that. So which is running in AWS, I just uh, created a new machine and in the previous video, I have explained how to create an instance that is machine in AWS. So in the description of this video, you can able to find the playlist link where you can find all the cloud computing videos. So now how to access it? Okay, I created a machine, a virtual machine is running for me and this is a machine T2 micro which has 1 GB RAM and 8 GB hard disk which is running for me virtually somewhere and I'm, I need to access this. I need to access the machine and I have to share some files from my local to this remote machine. How that is possible? So in the real world, in the day morning, if some people who really work on distributed environment with the remote uh, machines the day morning the people used to open some basic tools and techniques when they open their laptop in the real world in the companies so what is the tool so the two important tool which you need to know is putty and winsap so putty is all about to connect with your remote machine and winsap is to share your files from local to remote and remote to local so in the previous video i have created an instance and the last video when it comes at the end of the video I have showed you how to access the machine anyway I showed in the previous video but I didn't show you how to share the files so anyway now I am going to show you how to access a machine and how to share the files and with respect to that one more thing I need to discuss with you in AWS when you create a machine they will create they will give you some a keypad which is something called PEM key and in AWS, there is no concept like creating a password for our machine. Instead, they create a secure file, a keypad file, which you have to use whenever you log into the machine. So if the keypad is with someone else and they can also able to log onto your machine if they know your IP address and obviously they have your key file. So you need to be very careful about sharing the key file. It's equal to sharing your password, a physical machine password. So Putty and Winasati is the two basic tool always people will use when they use a remote computing. It's not only in AWS. Generally, if I want to connect my friend machine who is sitting next to me and he has his own physical, physical laptop and I need to connect with this laptop, I just need to use this Putty and Winasati. It is not only AWS, not only physical machine. Anything it is remote, you can able to connect with Putty to access it and to connect with Winasati to share the files. Now, I'm going to show you so we have a putty with me, I have putty with me, so open your putty. So it is asking for some IP address, I am going to provide some IP address. The IP address is what, when I create my instance, they will provide some IP for me. When you click this, you can able to see these details in the bottom. So copy this public IP, come back and paste it here. Now, you need to give password. So the password, as I told you, it's not a password, instead they provide you a key. So I have already downloaded and created the key, so this is what I they will provide us as a PEM key. You have to convert this PEM key to .ppk. So PPK is extension is private key. So how to convert these PEM to PPK by using an another extra tool which is called Putty Chain. So in the previous video also I have showed you how to convert this PEM to PPK. In AWS, they always provide a PEM key and you have to convert that as PPK. It's our thing which we have to do. It's something, uh, a static globalized one. They will provide PEM, convert it to PPK, use that PPK to access your mission. So how to create a PPK? I will delete this existing PPK, open putty gen, and then you have something called load, which you where you have to load your PEM, make it as all files, and choose your PEM key, open, and you got a prompt, just give OK and load sorry once the load is completed save private key okay so the prompt coming just give s and give some name i am going to give the same name a to z dot ppk okay so finally we got ppk which is here now use this ppk to log on to your machine so we have provided an ip address now we have to provide this ppk so in under connection you can see something called ssh click this and under this you can see something called authentication and you can able to see private key file for authentication browse it and choose your private key a to z dot ppk open and then just give open 
So when you are logging to first time, it will ask you, a prompt will come and it will ask you to type SR, just choose SR now, you can give S. I am I'm doing this in the second time, that's why I'm, it's not asking for me. And it is asking for login as. By, by default, whenever you create a machine in AWS, they will create a username as EC2 iPhone user. Later, if you want, you can change. But if you are connecting your front physical machine, then you have to provide his username here. So as of now, AWS, whenever you create a machine, they will provide as EC2 iPhone user as the default username. Just enter. That's all. It won't ask password anything because we have given the ppk file so it won't ask password if it is a physical machine right after giving the username if you hit enter it will ask the password you need to know your front machine password so then if you give the password it entered to the machine now it's a linux machine so just i'm typing ls command to list the files so it is empty because it's a new machine so i'm going to create a directory mkdir a2 is it knowledge so i created a directory now give ls okay i got a directory now how to share my files from local to remote and remote to local so i told there is another tool called win scp win scp win scp so this both putty and win scp both the tools are free download and small file you can download and you can install so now open this win scp whenever you open it will ask like this host name is all about the ip the ip is nothing but as I showed you this public IP, copy this, paste it here, the username, we know it is ec2 iPhone user and the password, we can't give password, it's a ppk file. So how to attach ppk in WinSAP? So click this advanced and you have something called advanced, click this once again and under SSH you can see authentication, it is asking for a private key file, browse it and choose your a2z.ppk and open and give ok. And now login. So wait for some time. So once it enter into it, you will get a, a big prompt, a window. So now if you see, the left hand side is my local. So I'm going for my desktop. See in desktop, I'm having one, two, three, four, five files. So I will show you. In my desktop, one, two, three, four, five, except recycle bin, I'm having five files. Others, demo, pem, putty, gen. See, same thing you can able to see here. Yeah, so the left hand side is your local and the right hand side is your remote machine. So you can see it is A2Z knowledge. You remember that we created a directory, right? So I will go to my putty. See, I created a directory. Now I want to move a, a file from my local to remote machine. Okay, just drag and drop. That's it. If it is first time, it will ask you for S or no. Just give S or OK. It is second time, so it is not asking for me. Now the local.txt has been moved to a remote machine. Now go to your putty and just give ls. See, you got the local.txt which we have moved now. So the putty is to access the machine and WinSAP is to share your files. So again, the same thing I can do. I can drag this directory a2z to my local too. Yeah, it came to my local. Go to my desktop. See, I got the directory here. So Basically, the people who work in real world in distributed environment, when they try to access a remote machine, these are all the two basic tools always people will use. The day morning when they open their laptop, by default, they will log into the putty and they will log into their WinSAP to share the files and to access the machine. So these are the very basic tools which all the people, especially the IT people and also the college students needs to know. So in the previous video, I have given a very detailed video how to create a machine in AWS. So thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com. So if you really like the video, subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues. And we have many videos in two languages, many technology videos, uh, English and Tamil. So thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com.